The Sony A7R6 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting full-frame cameras in recent years, especially if the rumors circulating about its specifications turn out to be true. Expected to arrive around November 2025, this camera is believed to represent a major leap forward in terms of resolution, processing power, and overall imaging performance. With an 80 megapixel full frame Exmor R BSI CMOS sensor at its core, the A7R6 would mark the most significant jump in megapixel count we've seen from Sony in a long time. While the A7RV is already a highly capable machine, Sony appears ready to push beyond its current boundaries. The leap to 80 megapixels isn't just about higher resolution for its own sake. It's about giving creators a tool that allows for extreme cropping, oversized prints, and unrivaled detail. According to speculation, Sony's sensor division already has the capability to create even higher resolution chips, possibly up to 90 megapixels, based on their work with Fujifilm's high-end APS-C sensors. So this rumored 80 megapixel jump isn't just feasible, it feels like a natural next step. For those who primarily shoot stills and aren't worried about ultra-fast scan speeds, this camera could be ideal. But the A7R6 isn't just about packing in more pixels. Under the hood, it's rumored to feature the powerful BIONZX R image processor, alongside dual AI processing units. This combination is expected to dramatically boost speed and accuracy across the board, from autofocus and subject recognition to noise reduction and color science. The autofocus system in particular will likely benefit from enhanced AI-based real-time tracking, making it easier than ever to capture sharp, in-focus shots of moving subjects. Whether you're shooting wildlife, sports, or portraits, this kind of intelligent AF could significantly improve your keeper rate. Stabilization also sees a notable improvement, with up to 8.5 stops of 5-axis in-body image stabilization. That means shooting handheld at slower shutter speeds or in lower light conditions becomes much more practical, giving photographers the flexibility to work without a tripod in situations where it might otherwise be necessary. The camera's enhanced active eyes mode should also appeal to videographers, especially those working in run and gun or handheld shooting scenarios. On the video side, the Sony, a 7R6, seems ready to meet the demands of modern content creators. Expected to offer 8K video recording at both 30 and 60 frames per second, along with 4K at up to 120 frames per second, and Full HD at 240 frames per second. This camera will be as powerful for filmmakers as it is for photographers. Additional features like 10-bit internal recording, 16-bit RAW output, S-Log3, and Sony's beloved S-Cinetone picture profile mean that this body could serve equally well in a commercial video shoot or a high-end documentary production. The viewfinder and screen are also getting attention. A 9.44 million dot EVF with a refresh rate of 120 hertz is expected to offer a smooth, immersive experience making it easier to compose shots in challenging lighting. Meanwhile, the 3.2-inch 4-axis multi-angle touchscreen LCD will offer both flexibility and sharp image preview, helping with both stills and video framing from unconventional angles. For those concerned with shooting speed, it seems the A7R6 may support up to 12 frames per second with its mechanical shutter and up to 15 frames per second using its electronic shutter while it may not be a sports specialist like Sony's A9 series, those speeds are still fast enough to handle most situations that require rapid shooting. Lastly, in terms of storage and workflow, the inclusion of dual CFX Press Type A and SD card slots ensures that professionals won't be limited by file sizes or speed bottlenecks. This is important for handling massive 80 megapixel RAW files or high bitrate video formats without compromise. With its expected announcement in late 2025, the Sony, a 7R6, feels like a clear signal that Sony is still intent on pushing the boundaries of what a full-frame mirrorless camera can do.